beautiful day. Hi, welcome back to the vlog. It's obviously laundry cleaning day. Uh, I've got the linens in the wash. I'm going to do um, my last bed of summer. And then I'm gonna start thinking about what I wanna do for autumn. I'm gonna throw in a little time lapse of me cleaning the kitchen. And then the video is gonna start and pick up last week where I left you off. Um, where we left off and I left you off, you, we left off. I'm not sure how that works. But uh, it begins in Central Park on a gorgeous afternoon. And then I decided to go back yesterday during the rainstorm. So you would see the park two ways, sunny and beautiful and then rainy and moody and gloomy. The mood and the experience is completely different depending on the weather and obviously the seasons. You get, I think, different types of um, feelings from the park regarding uh, what the climate is around it, which that's, I guess, a given of anything. But anyway, so enjoy this week's video. We actually go out to Queens to a taco place and uh, that I've been meaning to try. It's called uh, Birria Landia. They do these um, famous tacos that I guess became viral on TikTok or, or social media of some kind. And um, I believe that the trend ding video originated on the West Coast in LA, but apparently this taco truck here in New York is said to be as good, if not better, if not as good as something from the actual uh, region of Mexico, which they come from. So it's this um, consomme, you'll see it, is uh, essentially these tacos, they make a consomme, and then you take the taco, you dip it in the consomme, and it gives it a more um, juicy taco experience. And they were really, really good. So you'll see that. And then after that, I can't remember what the other clips are that I've thrown in there aside from the park, but regardless, uh, it's gonna be fun. Did it stop filming? Oh no, I don't know what that sound was. It's gonna be fun. Ow! <laughs> oh, that hurt. And Playground, Central Park, beautiful day. So we just came in through the 72nd Street entrance, which is accessible via the 456 train on Lexington Avenue, or you can take the bus up Madison. And we're just gonna turn right down the steps and approach, approach uh, the pond. Um, this pond originally was gonna have a glass conservatory, but that was canceled and they did a traditional brick building instead and decided to make it a boat uh, pond for model boats and toy boats, uh, modeled after the ones that were really popular in Paris at the time. And it's still one of the most popular attractions for 
people with toy boats and it's really really beautiful and when the breeze isn't blowing it becomes perfectly still and reflective. So on the east side of the pond you're going to find the building there which houses uh, Le Pan Quotidien which is a little bakery chain um, and then on the north end you're going to see the Alice in Wonderland statue which is climbable and then on the west side of the pond which is right there to the left you can't see it tucked away is going to be the Hans Christian uh, memorial statue and then you can decide to head up north to the gardens and the museum or west like we're going and approaching trefoil arch which you can go under and as you rise above the steps, you will approach the Loeb Boathouse, which is going to be to your right. That is where you can get the boats on the pond. And as we go up the steps, we're going to head left towards Bethesda Terrace and Fountain. So while this pond is iconic for those famous pictures and movie scenes of people rowing boats, and normally you can do that, right now you can't, but this is where you would do that. You would come here and wait in line. There's a little outdoor building and ticket area, and then you take out the rowboats. I believe you can rent them in strange intervals. Well, I guess not strange, it's either like 15 minutes or 45 minutes, something like that. I can't remember the actual times, but that's where you would rent the boat. And maybe one day we will be renting boats soon, but not today. Here's a really picturesque view overlooking the lake pond across towards the west side. If you see in the back that rock of the trees, that's called the point in the lake. And this is Bethesda Fountain. This is the lower part of the terrace. And as we can see, it's beautiful in the summer, filled with plants keeps it beautiful a lot. But this is a really great area to hang out. And then we're gonna head north end of the terrace and go towards the steps, which actually walk into the lake. And I believe the lake is just called the lake. I don't think it has an actual formal name that I know of. And this area is gonna step down. That's the point there. You can see the rocks in the distance. It comes the closest to the terrace. And there are always turtles here. So you can come feed them or just hang out and watch them. And then towards the left, you're gonna actually be able to see Bow Bridge, which is the most famous photographed and um, iconic bridge in all of Central Park. It's in almost every postcard and movie and reference to Central Park. When you see a picture, usually that's the one in it. And then I'm gonna turn back towards the fountain. As you see Central Park South in the background, those high rises have gone up in the last four years. They're all brand new and there are more to come. And here's a little bit of magic for you to enjoy.
So as you notice, often beneath the terrace in that beautifully restored area, you can enjoy live music as we saw Marcella Opera. And then the great part about these cross streets is it allows you easy access from east to west quickly and efficiently, faster than taking the train. A little view of the lake. Boom, there's the shot. You can find musicians and artists all throughout the park of different types and ranges, uh, some dancers, some classical, a little bit of everything. So we're gonna continue heading west across the 72nd Street Byway, Thruway, and we're gonna approach Strawberry Hills and the Imagine Mosaic, which is much easily approached if you're coming to see this from the west side um, on 72nd Street where you can find the Dakota Building. And here is the mosaic. The mosaic was donated to the city and the park by the city of Naples, Italy. And it is in honor of John Lennon. And the area is designated as a quiet space. And it's in memory of him and his music and his career. And you can see this path is going to come over to Central Park West and the corner where you can now see the Dakota Building, which was his last residence in New York. It's a gorgeous building and definitely worth checking out if you are in the area. Now the easiest way to get here would be taking the B and C train or the 1, 2, and 3 train. 1, 2, and 3 are at 72nd and Broadway and the BC are at 72nd and Central Park West. And we will arrive in Jackson Heights, Queens. The easiest way to get here is take the 7 train and get off at 82nd Street, which is what I did, and that's the train above us. Or you can take the R, F, and E trains and get off at the stop before Jackson Heights. Um, but I think the southern is pretty simple. And that was what was easier for me to get to from the west side. So we're approaching the Via Lamia Tacos now, and it should be ahead of us there. Um, I don't see the wine yet, but uh, we'll see. So the taco truck will be located on the corner of Roosevelt Avenue and 78th Street, and it arrives at 5.30 in the afternoon. This is my first time. There you go, that's the intersection right there. That's where that bike is. That's where the bike is going to be. Uh, this is my first time, so I'm not sure what the lines are going to be like. Here you go. This is around 5, I believe, a little bit short of 5, and there's already a little bit of a line. So I definitely think this is the best way to experience um, the taco. And here's the taco arriving. Tacos de birria. So it's B-I-R-R-I-A. Um, and I would say the lines get really, really long. They're open till 1 a.m. But I would say earlier in the afternoon is your best shot at the shortest wait. And it really wasn't that bad once they pulled up and started serving. It was really pretty quick. Quick enough for me to do it. The 
menu is very straightforward, which makes it very easy. There are four items. One of them is the consomme, so essentially three food items with one consomme as the fourth selection, and that makes the process quick and also easy to select. Um, it was so much fun to do this, and I really enjoyed it, and I really recommend that you come try it out. Um, if there are bifilla tacos in your area, give those a go, but when you're here, this is the spot. The food was so good, and it was really just a fun afternoon. So if you can, bifilla tacos, check them out. Plenty of uh, stuff online about them. And here's a little shot, enjoy. So as you can see, it is a messy technique, but the taste is phenomenal. Don't wear a white shirt. Mm. You're going to get messy. But try it. Está buenísimo. Pero, wow. So good. Wow. So good. So it is the next morning, and as you can tell, a very wet, rainy one. And once I got my coffee, I jumped on the train and decided I'm going to head home and wait for the sun to come out. Good thing that I did, because wow, what a beautiful afternoon. So I'm walking to the Italian consulate uh, to see if there's anybody I can get more information about. Um, because it's one of the places that I'm looking into for uh, relocating um, but anyway so that's what I'm gonna do right now and then I have a couple errands and then I need to finish editing the video you're gonna watch last week or have seen last week so yeah that's it for now are you ready get ready for it here it comes even I was surprised boom fall autumn Halloween merch has dropped spooky time is on its way Turning leaves. Here we are in Grand Central. I just popped in and was so surprised to find that stuff. Uh, I'm actually gonna head downtown, but I thought I'd show you. What a beautiful building. And the ceiling is just one of my favorites ever. Anything to do with constellations or astrology in terms of art is always appealing to me. Something magical, very Peter Pan. Fly through the sky. down and I was feeling a little, I don't know, stressed with everything um, going on and thought I would treat myself to a haircut. That always makes me feel better and it's right by Tompkins Square Park. Here are the skateboarders. On the other corner there's also a bunch of guys working out all the time. There's a bathroom here if you need it but it's pretty scary. But the blind barber is located here and it's where I've been going the past a uh, couple weeks and it's probably one of my favorite barbers I've found in a very long time. I used to go to their bar uh, but not to their haircuts and this is later that night another rainstorm a massive one. These rain, summer rainstorms have been so much fun but they've been really dramatic and terrible to get caught in because no matter what kind of umbrella you have well maybe a golf umbrella would be okay but usually you're never in the right footwear and you end up getting soaked unless you wait under a scaffolding or something. And usually they pass in about half an hour. But here it is.
So this is Federal Hall. This is George Washington became president on April 30th, 1978. And it's definitely a worth coming to visit. It's a beautiful building, not the original structure, but it's been replaced with what you see now. And that's the stock exchange, New York Stock Exchange, Wall Street. Anyway, I'm gonna have to wrap this up here because of a Wi-Fi issue and a memory issue. And this is where we're gonna have to pick up. So stay tuned. Bye.